In this video, we're going to take a look at a pick pack ship workflow starting with an intact sales order. Let's begin this process by creating a sales order in intact. I'm going to go ahead and continue with the sales order that I put into draft, so you don't have to watch me key in this whole thing. And we're going to continue this order, sales order 244, going to bare essentials. In it, we've got a couple different items, a chemistry kit, extra test tubes, a test tube stand, and we're going to add one more item here, which is an Erlenmeyer flask. So we've got those items set now. Let's go ahead and now post this into the order entry area so that it can flow through into QStock through Web Services. One of the things that I'm going to do is pull up this order so that it can be sitting in the background as we're working on this because we want to come back to it and talk about how QStock posts orders uh, as we're going through the workflow. You'll notice here that I've got this history tab. We're going to come back to this once we've completed this overall pick pack ship process. The next step in the process is after the order has been created, it's going to automatically flow down into the warehouse. What's key about this next step is it's going to be able to happen on a handheld so that people are able to be able to see the information in the warehouse so the doers can be able to get information on what to pick, where to go to get it, without having to pick up some papers, have that stuff printed, have things emailed, etc. All of that stuff is going to be right on the handheld. So if you could see into my office, you'd see that I have a handheld connected to the computer via USB cable here so you can see what's on the screen. Uh, you'll notice the menu for the handheld is very straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and pick this order and what's nice is I can select and see all the orders that are available for me to pick that are now allocated. So the system is set to auto allocate so all of my items since they're available I can go ahead and pick them. Starting out it's going to tell me where to go. In this instance, I'm pretty sure that all of my items are actually in the same bin. If they weren't, it would direct me in a systematic fashion around my warehouse to be able to get all the items I need to get for this order. Starting off, we're going to go to 1A01A, and I'm going to go over to that area and scan and let the system know, hey, here I am. It's going to tell me what to get. First thing I want to get is the chemistry kit. So I'm going to go ahead and scan for the chemistry kit. And this is a lot-based item, so I can go ahead and scan the lot for this item right now. And the next thing I want to get here is how many do I have? Okay, I have one of them and now I need to get this next item which is the Erlenmeyer flask. So I go over and I grab another item. It's not the right item. It's gonna tell me that's not the right item, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and actually get the right item here. And with that I've got one of these. Perfect. Next up are these test tubes. Let's go ahead and grab these items. And I've got four of these. And let's finish up with this last one. And there we go. So we're done the whole picking process. What's nice about what you just saw there is that all of that information is noted right while the work is being done. Nobody has to go back to a computer. No one has to check off anything on a piece of paper of a printed pick list. None of those things. The next step in the process is to go ahead and ship. So we've picked, we've packed, and in the shipping process you have a couple different options. We have direct integrations into FedEx and UPS as some examples where you know, in that process, what you would do is go over to your shipping station and you would type in your sales order number. And what it would do for you is then pull that information on the customer with the shipping address into the shipping station through our integration. And when you print the label, it would send the tracking number back into QStock so that we can store it. And potentially, if you configure it, send that information up into Intact as well to be able to be printed on a shipper and sales invoice document. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually show you what it looks like to be able to take a look at this order uh, from a managerial perspective and an administrative perspective so that we can ship it in this fashion instead of using one of those shipping stations. Now since I don't have an account <laughs> that can make it for me to be able to ship these items uh, without actually charging a card or anything like that, I'm going to go ahead and manually ship these items through this interface here. So I'm going to go ahead and select that this is going through UPS and I'm going to have a tracking number and I'm going to post for this shipment. Now if it came in through the FedEx or UPS integration 
it would automatically populate this information here and that you'd be able to see from any browser. Know the status of what's happening with this order as you can be able to see here and also all of what's happening, right? So the history information, who touched it, when they touched it, what happened where, it's all here within QStock. Now, the next portion of this is that you know, you may have situations where you're also needing shipping options beyond FedEx or UPS. We also have some great integrations with some multi-carrier shipping options. For example, like Shipping Easy and ShipStation, which open up a whole new realm of shipping options for you to use. Everything from FedEx and UPS to DHL. With that, let's go ahead and now look at this order coming back into Intact. I'm going to go ahead and refresh. And in the History tab, we see that it automatically created a shipper document once we were completed our workflow physically in the warehouse. With this, you'll see that all the line items of you know, what we had done and picked in the warehouse have flowed over into this shipper document. And what this does is this really allows the finance team to shift from data entry to data verification as they look and see yes this shipper document is correct maybe there are multiple shipper documents that need to be created based on the complexity of the order uh, and the components involved and you can do different things like potentially combine multiple shippers to create a single sales invoice in intact and here basically with a click then you can go ahead and create a sales invoice if everything looks correct so what did we see here you got to take a look at us creating a sales order to kick off this whole workflow process and then shifting the work into the hands of the warehouse team where they're able to do it mobily on a handheld that's connected via Wi-Fi so that the transactions are being noted real time as they're doing the work and the system is having the logic to be able to direct them around the warehouse in a very systematic fashion. It protects against mispicks, gives you the information you need when you need it, and when they're done, they can handle working with multiple shipping options to be able to get the items out the door and automatically be able to create the next logical document in this chain, in this case, a shipper document in Intact. But that's not all we can do. Here are some additional ways where we can add efficiencies and make the work smoother between your finance and your operations team. So for more information, head on to our website at www.qstockinventory.com or give us a call at 408-252-9000. Thanks and hope to get to talk to you soon.